out and we are recording. Uh, yeah, if you want to go ahead and, and uh, give the intro uh, since our trailblazer is here, please. Absolutely. Welcome our next trailblazer at the AI Viz Summit. And we are here with Ying Ling Duan. She is the founder of Davos Blockchain. In the process of creating her Open Mountain project as a cultural lead in the team of design and NFT platform, which was convened on Binance. She is here today talking about her project in Open Mountain project curation lead in the team of designing the platform itself. Ying Lane shares the fresh perspective of art, technology, and cultural significance empowered by NFT and the new financial options. Welcome so much for being here. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard so much about you. Um, before Davos, I was called in to uh, participate. Now I get to meet you for the first time. So welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Amazing. Thanks so much. Thanks, Nadine, to Wave and Molly. You can convince such wonderful, brilliant women. I like the six years in the blockchain space in Davos, and this is definitely already a great sign. So I'm really honored to be here. And uh, just just in this today's occasion, I would like also saying I'm I'm a sailing of on the uh, human civilization where the the trade we are at nile uh, are saving uh sailing with uh, a collective of three folks that looking at a decentralized internet next level internet so this is another level of uh, uh plumbing we're going for the whole new business and digital finance infrastructure and at the same time communicating with finance team that from the curation side this is lots of a parallel universe is colliding converging and it's a great uh the slide just to have a more visual it, do you see my uh screen i'm just trying to see if it's a uh, working uh, yeah, yes. we see your screen nicely. Yes, you see my Yep, your screen is showing. Your screen is showing beautifully. Okay, great. Uh, from why to how? Thank you, Molly. Um, so first of all, I just introduce those who, who um, yeah, we met here for the first time, and uh, I think we are talking about very high conversation and FT. I think most people are curious. Most people want to know what's going to be happening or who knows better. And it really reminds me uh, when the six, seven years ago reincarnation of blockchain topic as a real, uh, as a designer, basically in space in this renewed and like a digital earth 2.0 project i would say the nft opportunity to artists to convey talents and to how to create all the different creativity into the digital space and that's a, always a question since we are in this um new era of digital earth nature 2.0 i would say and which we started talking in double block base and at that I don't know if you remember, we call it, we are the technology we are waiting for, just resonating what you just mentioned. How we humanize technology and make when the AI is further developing, how we look at a human nature opinion. So open mind, I'm here just to, to show ending another side of the world and hopefully adding a fresh perspective to this space. Uh, I found a uh, Beijing design form and uh, the idea of how to sign uh, space is another level looking at financial systems and social innovation with the Asian spirit, however, it's a global perspective. So we invested in different uh, realms that look at ecosystems. So that's a little bit about me. 
and uh, just to make it a little bit more exciting for our English speakers, I look at this. Before we're going to talk about uh, mining and NFT artwork, I would like to be that little child asking for Empress uh, clothes, right? What is What are we talking about when we talk about art? Um, and uh, fortunately, I would be living in a very artsy and financially affluent country, Switzerland. And in my personal experiences for the past 50 years, even more, art has been one of the most convenient, uh, basically just assets, right? Uh, it's uh, controlled and manipulated or guided by gallery, museum uh, curators. And in that space, it is the same as the financial system. We are looking for, uh, look at art with a fresh art, we realize there's some some work need to be done. So here I would like to use Alex Gray and we look at uh, Open Mountain to use uh, transcendental art and sacred art as a, as a new way of speaking about art and recalling in for what art is there for us. So let's back to why we're talking about NFT here. Why is it most uh, talked about hottest topic in the Clubhouse and Facebook and everywhere? Are. Obviously, as we know, it is a hype. It is, uh, it is a very, very exciting opportunity for us to look at the possibility a gold mine, which is called came out of nothing but everything. Uh, I see this as personally, I see this as a way, as blockchain space has created, really disrupt our programmed concept of money and programmed the concept of business and programmed and concept about art and deprogramming starts from here because we are yeah the people can do that thing and then 16 my milling isn't that my blowing isn't that Disruptive, disruptive. So very interesting. Interested is um, it's definitely a golden pass for. Um, um, I, I'm sorry for the uh, signal because it is the um, it's the Nile. Um, I will try to speak slowly and see if it kept gone. Uh, most exciting NFT opportunity is truly is empowered by technology that art artist collaborations and a different way or transact and being discovered and really being opened up. And I do see this has been incredible opportunity for reboost and they say it, but I would say our have more, more easy access to de uh, define and discover uh, emerging artists and also really have a much more inclusive way of looking at what is art and there's not dominant uh, like one star the novel it's just like what instagram did with influencers but the last but not least probably the most important i would like to make it here is the awareness about digital space it's also a space it's also resources it's also energy so ultimately we are looking at a financial revolution coming from the conscious have consciousness evolution age and as we mentioned that's why even showbiz we have a mother earth uh slogan uh, or image at the back because we are in this time and how about if we look at um, um, art, our activist art, and also how we can use social network, empower the influence and and also look at it. Um, hi, I was art, which is I'm going to share with the open mind. And basically, uh, how can we look at um, organizing um, a database differently and reflect on the necessity of not Uh, Ying Ling, why don't you Can go you ahead? Can you hear me? No, uh, we can't hear yes. you very well. 
I wanted to suggest yes. that you go you go ahead and turn Can you your hear me. Uh, go ahead and turn your camera off. If you turn your camera off, I think it'll improve your internet. Could uh, someone chat that to Yaelene? Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead. You cannot hear me? Now, now we can hear you. Okay. You turned your camera off. Uh, you can share your screen and just keep your camera off. I think it'll work really nice now for you. No. Um. <laughs> Okay, uh, we're um, having a little technical di difficulties with our speaker, and uh, we'll see if we can get her back. But in the meantime, um, Brandy, I think. Okay, let me. Do oh, yeah, we can, uh, we can't hear you, Yaling. I don't know if you can get any. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Can you? Um, yeah. Uh, All right. While we get that underway, I posted in the chat. If you take a look at Ye Ling's uh, LinkedIn, you can follow her on LinkedIn. Make sure that you um, reach out to her. To uh, Ye Ling, we're really uh, struggling to hear you. Um, yeah, I don't know if you have any ability. I know you're coming from Egypt. I'll yeah, that's a great idea it's for her to call back in. Why don't we? Yeah, yeah. why don't you uh, leave and come back? Very good. Very good. Um, and what a fascinating presentation. So go ahead and head out. If someone wants to chat that to Ye Ling and let her know to disconnect and reconnect, that would be great. I would great. try. I'm, I'm sorry for that because it was. Yeah. I think that might help. So we're sorry. Um, we have someone who was streaming in all the way from Egypt, and what a fascinating talk she's sharing. We'll see if we can get her up. Uh, we do rely on the internet, and usually it holds pretty strong most of the time. Uh, but I know, Brandy, you had some remarks you were going to share uh, if we had some of these in-between moments. Yeah, absolutely. We're talking um, in reference to her focus, right? So there's a couple of things that are happening here, and she's cross-referencing the interesting um, facing another round of potential ICO waves and opportunities. She, some of the slides that she was moving into the art and the beauty of it and uh, even used... Um, what is, what is the name of he's like does the bio art and he's mostly known in some of our our hippier cultures i what is his name molly do you remember the bio art he's such a big artist anyhow so basically when when uh she was sharing this artist's name uh if you're familiar oh it's not coming to me right now but basically he has the the body itself and you can see the grid lines inside the body which brings us back to the humanizing the technology that I had mentioned she had mentioned is that we are this grid and so a lot of these intersections that are emerging right now and creating a cultivating a culture cultivating culture uh, we get to invest in so I, I'm I'm on the I'm hanging on the ledge for more of her presentation, but yeah. when she calls back, we do have a, a a huge lineup coming. I know that Jackie Mickelson is coming in. Molly, you're going to introduce. Yes, Janika is going to be up next, and I I'm going to give her quite quite an intro. In fact, I think Janika may already be. Uh, Janika, can you come on camera early? There she is. Janika, we see you. <laughs> She's getting her um, volume uh, together. I sorry, I muted myself. Oh, uh, <laughs> Janica, um, I'm so excited. I, it looks like we have a little uh, early time, so what I'm going to do is stop the recording and then 